So for problem statement, you need to move this on this type of a floor, but you don't have those on it. There's a couple options you can take, but I want to show what methods work well for me. And that's basically just to put pipe on it. Uh, so this is just some inexpensive 3 quarters inch EMT piping. And I get about 5 or 6 sections. And you just stick a couple of them in there. And without having to unload anything in this sucker, you can just uh, you know, use a pry bar. I use this sucker right here uh, to pull the corner up. Put a little blocking underneath it till you can grab some EMT. Shove that in there. Do the other side the same way. Um, and then basically you can use the small amount of friction that is put on something like a pipe or anything round and almost use them as a simple bearing. What I've done here is I've basically stuck a couple pipes in and then I've been able to pull it not just horizontally but I've actually been able to pull it away from the wall and then I'm going to send the whole sucker to the other side of the shop. Well, I would say probably the better method would be to have a couple of these small dollies I could just permanently mount or keep underneath it. Not only does that mean you're wasting money on those, but now you have a few extra inches higher, and then similar to these, you have to worry about stuff falling under them over time. You know, it's just always on casters, so is it more likely to tip out? Something like this could potentially be very top-heavy if you have, like, that cabinet right there all the way out, and now you have just the four points of contact with casters. This method really works well. Check this out if you're stuck, particularly with these large <laughs> file cabinets, you can still move them around quite easily, just with some simple pipe. And then as you progress, you can either pull the rear pipe and just move it towards the front, or I just like to have several in there and just kind of kick them forward as the weight goes. Uh, this whole thing of pulling it against the wall there and throwing it up here probably took me about two actual minutes worth of work. Cutting the pipes probably took about just as long. Well, if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. Have a good day.